You're watching BCTV, Brantford's Community Access Station. So good afternoon. My name is Vincent Giordano. I'll be your master of ceremonies today for our annual Veterans, Veterans Day. I, I was about to say parade services, but unfortunately we're not gonna have the parade. Uh, we um, had to dispense with that, as you know, uh, for obvious reasons. We appreciate the social distancing that we all uh, have to abide by um, today. Um, when we had our ceremonies similar to this for Memorial Day, uh, we didn't have this kind of attendance because we really weren't quite sure how to deal with the COVID situation. Now we're kind of getting used to how to do that. And so thankfully we were able to invite uh, more people today and we appreciate, we certainly appreciate your attendance. So again, um, on behalf of our chairman of the Veterans Parade Committee, Bill O'Brien, and the rest of the committee members, I'd like to welcome you. Um, I'd like to thank uh, all the Boy Scout, Girl Scout, Cub Scout, volunteer and citizen people who placed over 1,700 flags in the seven cemeteries over the past week. Um, I'd like to acknowledge Dennis Nardella for this wonderful PA system. Um, and even though we don't have a singer today, we're going to have a, a beautiful rendition very soon of the national anthem, thanks to Dennis. <clears throat> uh, of course, um, we usually have a list of dignitaries um, who pass and review the parade. Uh, we obviously don't have this today, but we do have, our, of course, our selectmen, um, uh, J.B. Cosgrove and Ray Dunbar here as well. <clears throat> so... Uh, now I'd like to uh, begin the ceremonies with the uh, invocation from Reverend Stephen Chamberlain. Thank you. Good afternoon. You can't beat a day like today, can you? To all our veterans who are here today and for those who are going to watch this on television, I want to thank you for your service, for completing your mission, and for the many sacrifices that you made in the service of our country for those of us who are your fellow citizens. I also want to commend the Parade Committee for hosting our gathering today. It is good, it is fitting that we should take time out and acknowledge the contribution of our veterans. May we not lose that in our culture. Let's pray. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, we come today to honor those who have given of themselves by serving in our military services. We thank you for their unselfish contributions and the freedoms we have because of them. We recognize that the service these veterans have given has changed many of their lives and caused them to struggle. We pray for those with bodily injuries that have made their lives much more difficult, a daily struggle. We also pray for those with unseen injuries, especially those with post-traumatic stress and we ask for your strength and help in their daily lives. For those who are family members, who are caregivers, or who live under challenging circumstances with those who have been injured, we ask that they would be able to endure with grace, strength, and patience. Today, as we come together, we thank you for this glorious day. And for each one gathered here, we pray your blessing on our time. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, Steve. And now the national anthem rendition by Dennis Nardella's sound oh, system. Units, attention. You see Present home. By the dawn's early light, once so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. 
blood or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamy and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled What up, arms? Parade, hoost! Our selectman's greetings from our selectman, Jamie Cosgrove. Thank you. <clears throat> On behalf of the town, I welcome all of you here today, and I thank the Parade Veterans Parade Committee for putting together this ceremony. As uh, although we're in. Uh, difficult times and it was a unfortunately we couldn't have the parade that we enjoy and we're proud of that we're one of the few towns that continues to have our parade annually um, but yet we still come together to thank our veterans and acknowledge their service our veterans are, are of all race color and creed party affiliation some with long history family history in this country others first born or even immigrants themselves yet they stood together and continue to stand together in defending our liberty and life that we enjoy here in this nation and bringing freedom around the world. Now this ceremony is a small gesture of our thanks to the veterans. What is important is what we do when we step off this green as a town, as a state, as a nation, that we continue to honor our veterans by cherishing and not taking for granted the life and liberty that is afforded to us by their sacrifice and service. So on behalf of the town, thank you to our veterans, and let's keep those who are serving today, whether here or abroad, in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Selectman Cosgrove. We really appreciate that. And now a selection, the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps. Thank you. Our speaker today will be, will be Donald Langlos, who's the commander, the current commander of the American Legion Post 83. Don was born and raised in East Haven. He graduated East Haven High School in 1962. He joined the Navy Reserve in 1960, went on active duty in 1962. Stationed aboard, ab aboard the USS Lake Champlain as a radio man first class. 
He operated in the Cuban Missile Crisis as well as the Cuban blockade and also in the Mediterranean during the, Vet during the Vietnam era. His medals are Ship's Battle e Effects Efficacy uh, Pennant, the, the National Defense Service, Armed, Forest, Armed Forces Expeditionary, Cold War Victory Commemorative, Connecticut Wartime Veteran Service, and the Good Conduct Medal. He, is married to his, he, he married his wife Sandy in 1964 and moved to Short Beach in 1976. He then worked at Pratt & Whitney um, in gauge standards. He, wor he worked in advertising and promotion for the WNHC radio and TV stations. He worked for Armstrong Pirelli um, Tire Company as a research and development performance specialist and that he owned his own printing company for 28 years and now is retired. So on behalf of, on behalf of the Veterans Parade Committee, I would like to invite our commander of the American Legion Post 83, Don Langlois. Thank you, Vinny. That was uh, more than I expected. Uh, I want to thank you and uh, Bill O'Brien and the whole parade committee for always coming through and making arrangements uh, to celebrate veterans. This day, as we know it, wasn't always called Veterans Day. It began, began as a commemoration of Armistice Day, the day the fighting stopped during World War I. What was thought to be the war to end all wars formally ceased on the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month. And in November 19th, President Wilson uh, proclaimed November 11th as the first commemoration of Armistice Day. The Congressional Act in 1938 made no November 11th a legal holiday. On June 1st, 1954, November 11th, came the day to honor American veterans of all wars. Later that year, President Dwight D. Eisenhower issued the first Veterans Day proclamation. Veterans Day is the time for us to pay our respects to those who have served. For one day, we stand united and respect for you, our veterans. This holiday started as a day to reflect upon heroism of those who died in our country's service. Memorial Day service honors the service to their country. And as a result of injuries incurred in battle, deceased veterans are also remembered on Veterans Day but the day is set aside to honor the living veterans who served honorably in the military in wartime or peacetime. This year, 2020, the Cochrane, the Cochrane Sunquest Bramford Post 83 of the American Legion is celebrating our centennial. A hundred years ago, March 23rd, 1920, a small group of 13 ex-servicemen led, led by the founder, Ernest Averill, and with permission of the GAR, which is the Grand Army Republic, where they were granted the use of their meeting room at the Bramford Armory for a new post to be named after two Bramford soldiers who have died in France, John Corcoran and Conrad Sundquist. Due to the COVID pandemic, we have not been able to celebrate and look for, look for us in the coming years when the new normal is back. We can't say the regular normal because I'm not sure that will always come back, but the new normal. And I want to thank everyone for coming. Thank you and God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Thank you, Donald. We really appreciate those words. Now another selection from the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps.
Wow, what an amazing tribute to our veterans. Now, I heard your leader at the beginning said, say USA. Well, that truly indeed was a tribute to all our veterans plus the USA. Thank you very much, Stony Creek. Right here in our green, uh, we're graced with this beautiful flagpole in this monument here. Don, you want to grab that? This monument is in memory of those who served, those who were disabled in service, and those who gave their lives in World War II and the Korean War in Vietnam. Now Don will place the wreath in memory of those people. Thank you. And all veterans. So just before I get into our last closing items, I just want to uh, make one further acknowledgement to an individual. You know, I mentioned earlier about all the scouts and volunteers who worked to place markers on our seven cemeteries in town. Well, this was led by Phil Zielinski, who was um, very influential in putting all that together every year, takes care of our cemeteries, takes care of our flagpoles, Phil, you want to just acknowledge that, please? The last thing I, I want to mention before moving on to <clears throat> our TAPS and Firing Squad um, is I'd like to thank the Brantford Arts Council for you know, helping uh, to put together a beautiful weekend with all the displays in front of our stores here. and. Um, we really appreciate that as well, you know, giving all our artists uh, an opportunity to express their talents. Thank you, Brantford Arts Council. First, yeah. yeah. All right, so now um, we get into our last two items. I'd like to ask Steve Chamberlain to come forward with our benediction, and then we'll conclude with Taps and Firing Squad. Let's pray. O Trinity of love and power, your children's shield in danger's hour. From rock and tempest, fire and foe, protect them wheresoever they go. Thus evermore shall raise to thee glad hymns of praise from land and sea. And now we ask that the blessing of God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon each of you. And may you be filled with joy and peace in this day and the coming days. And may God bless and protect the United States of America. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Steve. Units, attention. Present. Hoo. Harms. Commander, take charge of your units and dismiss them. Thank you all for coming out to this, this beautiful day for our parade ceremonies.